Hey YouTube, it's Gwen. I'm back. I'm supposed to be doing monthly videos. I'm not being a very good YouTuber right now, but I've been working. So, um, this video today is about dandruff. I have locks. Currently, I don't have any problems with dandruff, but I used to, and I can tell you how I got rid of them. Rid of dandruff. <clears throat> First of all, you have to understand where dandruff usually comes from which is a organism that feeds on the oil in your hair now for some reason everybody doesn't have this organism that lives off of the oil that their body produces so some people will have problems with dandruff some people won't some people can not wash their hair and they're okay but some people cannot do that um but everybody has to wash their hair because it will build up. And so eventually, everybody has to wash their hair. Now, the frequency at which each person washes their hair is different. It's different. It's going to vary from person to person. Um, myself, personally, I have to wash my hair every... I cannot... The longest I can go without washing my hair, honestly, is a week. I can't go any longer than that. My hair starts acting, my scalp starts acting up. And it's just a no-go for me, so I can't do that. But, um, so, when I did realize this about myself, the dandruff, I used to use expensive shampoos, Nazora AD, Sulfur A, which is not that expensive. Nazora is probably the most expensive. But I found I didn't have to use those shampoos if I wash my hair more frequently without a, without a medicated shampoo. If I just simply increased washing my hair, the dandruff would go away. Now, the problem that came with just washing my hair with regular shampoo was dryness and itchiness. So, to combat that, I have to put oil in my head, which seems counterproductive. But it really does stop the dryness. So, um, but that can occur because some people are allergic to um, the sulfates that are in shampoo. So, to combat the dryness and irritation from the sulfates, I have to put an oil on my hair before I shampoo it. Not gauze because that would really defeat the purpose of... Um, washing my hair it would make it that much harder so just lightly massaging my scalp with some my favorite is olive oil with a dab of tea tree which once this tea tree selection purchase that i have leaves i won't buy any more tea tree oil because i don't think it's doing anything so spectacular that i just need to keep using tea tree oil People say, oh, tea tree oil for dry scalp. Tea tree. I mean, tea tree oil is a proven antifungal, antibacterial, but I just don't see the difference because if I use any oil before I shampoo, it helps with dandruff. So, with that being said, those are a few steps. Increase your washing. Um, use an oil to combat the dryness of sulfate shampoos and um, I, th I thought maybe at one time it was connected to diet and if you are diabetic it really is connected to your diet because the higher your blood sugar your scalp and skin will flake you will have flaky skin so check to see if you're diabetic Make sure that's not the reason that your scalp is flaky. And keep oil to a very minimum in your hair. Um, because there is an organism, like I said, that feeds on oil. And oil has a tendency to remove oil, which will make dryness, which will make dry skin flakes. So keep it to a minimum. Keep your hair nice and clean. And that should help you with dandruff that's my monthly video i had to get it in because i said i was going to do monthly videos and i'm trying to stick to it so 
There it is. I think that's something that everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people deal with. Dandruff, dry scalp. So try those things. Let me know in the comments below if any of these things work for you. If you try any of these things, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.